On this episode of Motivate's Do It Yourself Garage, we are going to show you how dirty your throttle body is using an app. You may be wondering, how can an app show me how dirty my throttle body is? Well, it can, I think. After analyzing almost three years of data covering 50,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles from my G37, I noticed something very interesting about the throttle body. Now, before I tell you what I found, you may be wondering how the data was collected. I used a cheap OBD scanner and ran OBD Fusion's fantastic diagnostic report, then emailed it to myself to save a copy. For a step-by-step -step video in running and saving the report, pop over to my OBD for everyone channel and watch episode eight for iOS or episode nine for Android. When the report is run, it scans the engine computer, also known as the ECU, and then produces a well-organized and detailed report. This gives a snapshot of the engine, which can be useful to see what changes over time, like throttle position. Yeah, that's a hint. All reports are run with the engine fully warmed up and at idle, also known as hot idle. Before I clean the throttle body, I ran the diagnostic report. And I ran it again after cleaning the throttle body. And I ran it once more after doing the three steps shown in episode 27 after throttle body cleaning. I also have a report from the day I purchased the car and I just ran one today. Let me show you what the report looks like and which PIDs we will focus on. Under mode one, powertrain diagnostic data is a list of all the available sensors called parameter IDs or PIDs. The ECU in the G37 provides 42. It's a nice list. Here are the ones we will focus on. Coolant temperature, engine RPM, absolute throttle position, relative throttle position, and the absolute throttle position B, which is just the second throttle body. Now, let's have a look at a simplified summary. Here are the five PIDs and the mileage on my G37. Now, let me explain the difference between absolute throttle position and relative throttle position. The absolute throttle position is the actual position of the throttle. At idle, we consider the throttle to be closed, but actually it's open just enough to allow a small amount of air to pass so the engine can idle. With a clean throttle body at hot idle, the absolute throttle position shown here is 0.78%, meaning the throttle body is physically open 0.78%. Now, the relative throttle position shows the learned throttle position. Remember on episode 27, after throttle body cleaning, when we did the throttle valve closed position learning? Well, that's when the relative throttle position is set to zero. If I open the throttle 20% and actually was able to run the throttle valve closed position learning, the relative throttle position would be zero but the absolute position would be 20% because it's physically open 20%. Now, in this example, at hot idle with the clean throttle body and the throttle valve closed position learning done, the relative throttle position is 0%. All right, enough of the PIDs. Let me show you what I learned to check for a dirty throttle body. Well, all you need to do is to look at the relative throttle position. The larger the number, the dirtier the throttle body. Here's how I know this. At 137,000 kilometers, which is about 85,000 miles, with a throttle body that had never been cleaned, the relative throttle position was 1.57%. And the absolute throttle position was 2.35 and 2.75%. After just cleaning the throttle body, the relative throttle position is now 0.78, and the absolute throttle position is now 1.95 and 1.57. However, my hot idle is now too high at 837 RPM. It should be between 600 to 700 RPM. So think about this. The throttle is slightly closed more, but the idle is higher. This is due to removing the carbon buildup, which allows a little bit more air to pass, increasing the idle. Then I did the three steps shown in episode 27 after throttle body cleaning. Now the hot idle is back to normal, the relative throttle position 0% and the absolute throttle position is 0.78%. Huh, nice. This got me thinking about how long does it take for the throttle body to start to get dirty. So after 15,000 kilometers or 9,000 miles, I ran the report again. The relative throttle position is still at 0% and the absolute is still at 0.78. Good. So, 
How often should you clean your throttle bodies? Well, since I have almost three years of diagnostic reports, let me show you something. At 95,000 kilometers or 59,000 miles, the relative throttle position was 0.39%. At 104,000 kilometers or 65,000 miles, it is now increased to 1.18%. And finally, at 136,000 kilometers or 85,000 miles, it is now at 1.57%. Based on this, I think cleaning the throttle bodies every 96,000 kilometers, 60,000 miles sounds about right to me. Or simply run the report and see what your relative throttle position is. If it's more than around 0.5%, you may want to clean them. I know I will. Obody Fusion's diagnostic report made it easy to get the data for this episode. However, you can also use any OBD app to view the throttle body PIDs. Typically, you need to add a gauge or display, and then select absolute and relative throttle position PIDs, and you're good to go. All right, let's wrap up this episode. Now do you believe me that an app can show you how dirty your throttle body is? The throttle position values for your car may be different, but they should still be a good indicator of how dirty it is when you compare the values before and after cleaning. If you want to learn more about OBD scanners and apps, please have a look at my other YouTube channel, OBD for Everyone. On that channel, I show how to set up Bluetooth and Wi-Fi scanners with different apps like OBD Fusion, Torque, and Dash Commander. I also show how to use OBD Fusion's diagnostic report when your check engine light is on. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.